in this room. Ambience. Mm -hmm. So how do you? How did the videos that come out last week? Uh, horrible. I forgot to press recording, and then I only ended up getting an hour of video. <laughs> they were all children's matches too. Really? Yeah. So, so, so I decided not to upload any of them. Okay, that's fair. They were only going to be of one guy switching between Bayo and uh, Rosa. <laughs> I don't think people wanted to see that. I mean, yeah. It also, also would have been pretty bad for the first recording for me to put up to just be of Cholin's match. <laughs> like, I, that's not the impression I wanted to give to all the freshmen who, who were going to subscribe to see that Smash's YouTube channel. Cholin, if you're listening to this, my name is Noor, and I hate you, and you suck. Well, speaking of cancer, we have Rosa right here. So <laughs> who's playing Rosa? Austin or Jose? No, well, Aust Jose. Austin's Bayo. Right. Uh, Austin's captain. So he's doing this typical Rosa stuff, keeping up in the air and trying to juggle with those up airs. His spacing is actually surprisingly good at the moment. What do you think? I think Austin is perhaps getting a little bit frustrated at the fact that he hasn't done much damage yet. Yeah, he's, he's really struggling to land and trying to find an option. And Rosa really shines in this kind of situation where the opponent just doesn't have an answer. Yeah, she can just continue to harass you, poke you over and over again. What do you think of this matchup, though? I think it's horrible. For oh, really? Yes. I mean, he was getting desperate that forward smash. What makes it horrible is really just Luma. <laughs> I think if Falcon gets in close and gets a, a lot of his grab game going, he should be able to start putting some damage on Rosa. He can only get some guaranteed follow-ups if Luma's gone. Otherwise, he, he can only get guaranteed follow-ups on her grab if Luma is gone, or if he's specifically thinking about Luma during the combos. And he just lost his stock. Okay. That was just a good forward smash for up by Jose. Classic punish, not crisp, clean, nothing fancy. <laughs> no, but seriously, look at that. He's playing really smart. Oh, that was unexpected. Did Loma extend his hurt box? I, I actually don't her hurt box. That was the melee hitbox right there. <laughs> <laughs> All and right. And now Austin is just jittery. He's scared to pick an option now. You might want to lower your voice just so they can't hear you. Oh. No, they can't hear us. I don't even know what happened. Was that a jab or something that gimped him from the... It looked... It almost looked like a forward... I think it was a forward air. Okay. Just the first hit of forward air, they traded, and Luma just st stood up. I think Austin needs to play more conservatively during this match simply because he has to play Rosa and Luma's game. Otherwise, because he rushed headfirst in there and he got bodied for it. He needs to strategically land preferably on the edges. And if he can do that, he might have an advantage. But it wasn't Whoa. just that he got bodied at the beginning. At the end of the game, he was scared to commit. He kept on spot dodging. He was choosing some choosing to jab at some pretty bad times. True. We'll he, see how this one goes. I'm seeing a definite lack of matchup knowledge right here. Yeah. Well... <laughs> the, the classic for Glory. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. Down smash. No, he's definitely getting a lot of the reads now, and he's just keeping Luma in the air. Okay, now we're seeing a turn. Rosa definitely is a character that is very good at stopping other characters' momentum. Look at Jose getting those air dodges. He's doing pretty well. But like, he knows the character. He knows exactly what he's supposed to be doing here. This isn't some day one. Ba this isn't some day one Rosa we're seeing. Agreed. But at the same time, I think. Austin's doing a lot better at Falcon. He should have up aired. This, this is what I was saying earlier. He, he, he's, he loses all that momentum and he loses all of his confidence. Huh. Okay. Ooh, that was cool. I haven't seen that before. The edge guard with Luma like that. Not a kill yet, but at least he's got rid of Luma. <laughs> he should have over eager. <laughs> he wants it so badly. <laughs> Even though he wants it, he's still afraid to commit to some stuff. Okay. He should do that. I think if you would run past Rosa and do the backwards, you know, uh, Raptor boost, he could definitely use that as a mix up to close out this stock right here. Because he's been doing just uh, run up grab every time. So, he, oh, that's that. Wow. Jose closes it out just like that. 
Uh, yeah, Jose showing some great dominance both in game one and game two. It was a solid victory there. So, Noor, how do you expect to do in this tournament? Wait, what? How do you expect to do in today's tournament? I'm not really feeling it at the moment. I came here just because... Um, He's a... Uh, Noor's a shulk man, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Light, a regular here at this tournament. Uh, I don't recognize hey, Chris, though. I think he might Chris be a is probably a freshman. I think we're very confident in who's a freshman and who's not. Well, and if they're not, I mean, well, yeah, but they're freshmen to this university, I guess. They're fresh to us. So this guy, Chris, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Chris sucks at this game. <laughs> and I wasn't told to say that. This is a weird matchup. Let's see if he knows the Toon League. Toon League is honestly a really interesting. I, I think he does know the, the matchup because uh, Shotman he plays Toon Link and yeah. they play together. So. You're right. So Light might have an advantage here just because he knows. But you know, ooh, that's a nice side special coming out from Light. His own bomb setting up for Light. Ooh, a nice counter off that forward air. Beautiful. And Toon Link's forward air is pretty legit too. So. Good thing you countered it. Like, really doing How's it a good going, job Cooper? Of controlling the stage here. I miss you. Do you want to come take Cooper? But. All right, coming up. Okay. Never mind. Cooper, <laughs> Cooper doesn't want to compensate. Anyway, back to the match. All right, so uh, we brought Light in the lead. lead. I think what oh shit, that's a strong forward smash coming out from Toon Link, and Rage is definitely going to help seal that stock out. I thought I only Link was that <laughs> Nice. <laughs> what, forward tilt? <laughs> um, the light, uh, what I think he should be doing is trying to land with the neutral special for coming out from Mark. Because if you notice, the, every time Toon Link is on the ground, he's always shielding. So if Light goes into an aerial and immediately pulls that out, I think we could see the early shield break going in Light's favor. Because anytime, look, he's going to short hop, and he's going to immediately shield. So like I said, if he does that, it's going to be a great mix-up that Light needs to throw out. Currently, Light needs to have an answer for those projectiles. He missed the tech, and that's going to cost him the match. Uh, I, I hate to see that. But like, I feel like I feel like this is definitely a full glory Toon Link right here. He was pressing a lot of buttons, not really. I, I, I can't criticize. Sorry. Yes, it is allowed. Micah, coach him. He's got this. All right. Well, I'm out, bitches. They just called my match. Good All luck. Right.
Uh, I get mad. I get mad regardless. <laughs> there, studio. Studio. So we got studio up against. Yeah, back there. Oh. Our, ooh, oh, yeah. ooh, beautiful. I saw this guy. He was playing. I didn't see much of him. This matchup. Going for the classic brain dead starter. <laughs> no. Gets right in. Up smash. Oh yes. Let me show you what's happening. This is a very aggressive attack, apparently. Especially at the beginning. But it's not very really wise, I think. Yeah, I mean, after that opener, he hasn't really done much. Yeah, and now he's, now he's gonna get dash attacked, which is his best neutral move, I believe. At least uh, in my opinion. I, well, after watching Joey, you would that think that his best uh, neutral move would be run up grab. Nah. That'd be chill, but you know. Dash attack is so good, dude. It beats so much. <laughs> Ooh, this little Mac is a little too eager. And oh that no! Yeah, that's that's one of the gimmicks of this matchup. It's, it's like you can't you can't slide be high. I, I bet you can slide be low though. It can yeah. still up beat. Joey definitely showing his experience with this game. A, stu a studio made it is too. She slides to a sweet spot the ledge easily, kind of like in, kind of like you do in melee. Then he probably won't fall victim to that. But uh, Lomac is a very tricky character to get those sweet spots right. Yeah. Maybe you can pay him because he takes his hand out. You know, for for who I assume is a little Mac main, I, I, I would think that he'd ban this Smash is Bill. This is so nasty. Or maybe he just didn't expect his opponent to uh, Ooh, camp him out on the stage. Alright, fine. Peter, once again leaving me. Hopefully the commentary doesn't go to crap like it did last time. Anyway. <laughs> this little Mac studio really needs to really needs to calm down and pick a smart option. No! Oh my gosh, he got a second chance! And he throws it away. Actually, no, Joey actually picked a really smart option there. Um, side B does have super armor, and it would. And the little Mac was pressing a lot of like tilts and smash attacks. Very really smart by Joey. Looks like Studio is really thinking through this counter. Play. His, Joey definitely did show his hand that he's ready and willing to camp him out. Taking final destination. Really smart choice. This way, Pit doesn't have a chance to get away from him. But unfortunately, he also um, Little Mac doesn't have the platform to escape Pit's combo scrub. He's forced to land on the ground, and Joey is really good at covering light base. Let's see, let's see how much Studio can, can adapt and really show how much he learned from the last game. <laughs> Looks like. Anyway. Joey showing some complete dominance in this first, in this second game. Ooh, smart option from Studio. But Joey wisening up. He answers, he knew. After the first uh, counter, Joey was ready for the second. And Joey sealing up his. This is his second stock now with side. Today really needs to think through his options a bit more if he if he intends to do better in this game. Nice covering that landing. That's actually a really smart option if the uh, studio can just time it better. It does beat out. Um, I'm pretty. I'm almost really certain that that down smash does beat out hits uh, hit side beat. Upper dash on. There we go. Ooh. Joey getting so much mileage out of the upper dash on. It's a really bad spot, but Studio manages. He doesn't manage. He gets sent back off stage. Back and back. Back and black. Damn, I ruined the one good punchline I had. Joey with a commanding 2 0 against Studio. Lou is a pretty solid win in favor of Joey. Yep. <laughs> Joey was camping this poor guy out. Oh, I saw. On, on <laughs> I was next to him. I saw. 
<laughs> like I played my match and I looked over once or twice and he wasn't having fun. Yeah. But Studio did wise up. He saw that Joey was was ready to camp and he counterpicked F D. <laughs> oh, uh, the guy's shirt across from us. He has a shirt that says "I Main Ike." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of people do wear shirts that basically I tell you who they main. God, it, his shirt. Go! I hope to God he's on Ike Main. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe a little on the nose, but that's my point. If it funny. wasn't, it would was, just be funny. Looks like I really. I actually really don't like how a lot of players oh, just rocks. like default yeah, Smash Bros. as a starter. I was happy. Yeah, I can totally. I, always, I told him straight up. I was like, looked him in the face. I was like, it was. I told him. Oh, oh, My man Zueso is in here. I miss you, man. All right. Me too, man. It's been a while. Yeah. So we've got my man Joey up here and my friend Chris Austin. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't ask me. <laughs> I mean, I know Joey, obviously, but Joey's been playing really solid this semester. He like he played really solid last or at least uh, the end. Of, ooh, that was bad as the mm -hmm. the ending of last semester was really good for him. He actually won. Um, uh, what was it? Uh, Did he win playoffs? Yeah, I think he won playoffs, which was Joey, pretty unexpected. Oh, he, he got, got second. second. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought he actually won playoffs. All right, okay, well, well, I mean, second is damn near. Oh, I'm actually going. <laughs> oh, dang. Efrain. My man Cooper is back to commentate. What is so, up, man? This is actually my first time being on here. This will be interesting to see. So, Joey won against my man Chris and or Austin. I'm not quite sure on the name yet. Okay. With a pretty solid lead, but it was due to an SD. Joey starts off with that standard down throw to up smash combo that he always starts with. What every percentage match. is it good for? Do you know? Early percents. I don't know the exact range for it, but... It starts off with good damage and racks up at least 25, so it's always a good combo starter for him. Without a doubt. So if you're ever playing Joey, know he's going to come up and grab because <laughs> he will. <laughs> there we go. We're at 71. We're still seeing it. So like, it has a really large window. He's been spacing a lot to his advantage here. This DSS isn't using uh, as many grabs as I would anticipate right now. Well, I mean, if she throws him out like it's nobody's business, she's going to get punished for it. <laughs> so You're she's going to definitely think about where she places it, especially against Joey. Having a lot of trouble landing here as well, I see, which normally does not to be a problem for Zero Suits, honestly. But I think Joey he, seems to be countering her with those upgrades pretty well. I think ZSS might be this dude's secondary just because he. I saw him playing Toon Link earlier. On top of that, we haven't seen him do any of her down Bs or the flip kicks yeah, as yeah. a good... It's a really good recovery mix-up, and we have seen zero of them just so doing, far. Just doing dare and neutral there, a pretty unsafe option. Gonna get punished for it pretty hard there. And it looks like we're gonna get a solid 2-0. Who, uh, who did he play uh, first, uh, first game? Toon Link. Oh, okay, Tink. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking, like, he just probably doesn't know ZSS as well as he thinks as he thinks he does. Classic down throw up air just to rack up some damage. Still having problems landing here, man. This I is, think uh, he should just definitely land on the edge and try to regain his composure here. Yeah. Because he's, he's trying deep. a lot of things, and Joey's catching every single one. Uh, he just needs to let throwing out these hitboxes here and. He also needs to air dodge the arrows. I don't think he realizes how important they are to Joey's <laughs> edge guarding game. Joey's always been very good at edge guarding, though. That's that's kind of his bread and butter whenever he's playing pit. He he optimizes his ledge play just to, and that'll do it. A clean 2-0 from our boy Joey here. Agreed. What's he today? Huh? What's Joey today? I have no idea. Cool. I don't pay attention to seating. Right what can Fox do out of a jump cancel on that shine? What's viable after I mean, that? All he, all he does is he jumps and then he lands. He can land very quickly, so it's viable, but you know. 
I, mean, I think that forward smash is probably a better option out of that situation, but you know, whatever. Um, uh, where the hell is Alfredo? Oh, Alfredo? Yeah, I haven't seen him in like three weeks. Alfredo, it's gone. <laughs> what do you mean he's gone? I, I don't, I don't know. He's he's gone from the university. That's <laughs> Raymond. I, I, don't, I don't know why. I think I think he dropped out or something. All right, so you called it. We're seeing Cloud versus Lil Mac. Probably one of Cooper's harder matchups. Both of these characters are very incredible. He's doing. Oh, Dang. Oh, Fonty. If that did more knockback, then it was stage fight. But I bet Cooper would have taken it. Honestly, Cooper's like recovery game with Little Mac really impresses me because it's honestly surprisingly hard to get Gimp to Gimp Cooper because he just knows what people want to do mm. and he reads the situation very well. Yeah. Well, I figured out how to get him. How to get him? him. Mm. I can do it consistently. Well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. And he closes yeah, right. stock off with a KO punch. My man. From a, with a bad ending from, from Frankie. And see, that's what all Cooper needs. He just needs one or two hits that he can pull out like that, and he's already got a match in his hands. Yeah, that's true, but it's not consistent. Yeah, he's more consistent than he's, you're giving him credit for, I think. He needs to get like nine hits, at least. Well, true. On average, at least. But he's got. It's kind of hard because they really link into each other well. Yeah. He's got a very commanding lead on Frankie though, but nothing that mm -hmm. can't end in the, that spot dodge out of that cross slash is awesome. Oh, Props to Cooper. Field. Yeah, but you know, he's still living though, which is awesome. And all he needs yeah. is a forward smash with a rage, it should close it out. Not even that, they can get it with a tilt. Apparently, apparently it's difficult for the Mac to kill. I mean, not the Mac, for, for Cloud to kill. Because its kill option is... Well, that, except for his stupid early kill options like down smash and for limit and limit. Did you see that? That was a really good read on Cooper's end. He shielded the up B and immediately down smash to close out that stock. Props to Cooper. Hey, he thought he thought that. He, I bet he thought that that Frankie would snap to the ledge, but Frankie spaced it wrong. Yeah, he probably just accidentally missed or yeah. missed the spacing. What about, what about Cloud? Cloud, you, Cloud, you made many kills with Bear, mm -hmm. except for down smash and the main and whatever. I think and, and Bear is always stale, so it's hard for him to kill. I mean, all he needs is to carry him off stage with like two nares. You think it's that difficult? Yeah, well, but they don't back. Okay. Well, it's definitely Frankie's counter pick here, and he took Cooper to Lilac. Hmm. Well, Cooper, Cooper does well on that, that sometimes. He wants, he wants to be me in a crew battle on it. I mean, these characters are both bad at recovery, so I don't feel like, you know, yeah. Lilac particularly hurts Cooper more than it hurts Cloud or anything. Yeah. But, well, no. It benefits Cloud a lot because Cloud can catch the in Cloud can catch the innings. You think? The thing about Lila is because you only have to upgrade the limited places to land because you can go through the two slots on the platforms and, and land on the stage. Okay. You can land on the platforms and you don't want to land on the platforms usually. So. Because that's still a disadvantage state. But, so, so, so you can easily reach someone sometimes when they try to land on the main stage. So basically, Frankie has an advantage whenever Cooper is on the platform at any given point during yeah, this entire game. Yeah, Frankie game. gets up air a lot. If he can start off up air, he might, he might not be able to. I think he can. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> They're laughing over here. That's the goofiest thing in the world. I could have sworn that forward smash would have ended Frankie, but he was able to spot dodge yeah. right out of it. There we go. Let's go, Cooper. That, that was, was a solid KO punch. I think she should have saved that. I think you're having a good time over there, yeah. which is exactly he, what we want to see. If Cooper just pressured Fonty a little, then and Fonty would have given him a bad, a bad defensive option, and and Cooper could just up B or or up smash him. Mm -hmm. But look at Cooper; he knows exactly what he wants, what uh, Frankie wants to do at any given point. Like he's spot dodging all the grabs. Did he just try to go for an aerial attack with Little Mac? I I don't know. He knows that absurdly strong KF smash. Mm -hmm. Well, it's I pretty mean, 19, so it's fine. Yeah. I was gonna say, he was at a fair percent. Like, yeah. oh, ooh, that's a solid. Spot. Yeah. Fire. Where does he get that fire from? His soul. Yes, you're right. You're so right. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for a, what, side B off of that grab? I guess he's trying to hold on to it for that, but. There that's interesting. Go. Oh, that didn't kill. Uh huh. I think the stage was dipping downwards. <laughs> well, that's going to end the game. The SD coming out of Frankie's side. That was two missing, but that no, only one missing. But well, I've commentated like four games, and I don't think I'm particularly good at it now. So I am going to retire for a bit, and I will definitely leave you. All right.
few minutes, but we are ready to get into it. Sean versus Jared. Let's see what we got going on. Am I baiting into the mic? That's probably bad. All right, so 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 he chooses Puff. <laughs> and this should be interesting. I uh, Joey has taught me to never sleep on Puff. Yeah. He's uh obviously he doesn't have a great neutral, but he can punish very hard if you're careless. But Sean has a very good neutral, so uh, I don't know. I think this might be pretty tough. I played in an online tournament and I lost to a Puff. Yeah. Just barely. I wasn't, well, I wasn't thinking quite right. Yeah. Jigglypuff is a character who I feel benefits from lag. Like a lot of characters with lag. Uh, I didn't think so. Heavy, scary. Oh. Nah. She's really, she's really fragile. Right. And she well, can't. And she's really also really unsafe. So. Yeah. So, true, she, so she goes for an attack. And it fails because of that because they can they can't react right quite right. Then she gets punished hard. All right. And she can't just throw we stuff out. We are about to see Jigglypuff versus Ganondorf. Ganondorf played by Sean, Jigglypuff played by Jaren. This Tinnik's at 69%. Oh, Tinnik versus Ganondorf? I mean, yeah. Puff versus Ganondorf? I have not seen Sean's Ganondorf. I would say a great battle between these two characters. Huh. And, and I, I think I think they're even, but the game's one at the end. Alright, so Drone is doing well. He knows how to take Edgeguard Ganondorf. He knows how to bait out whiffs. He did that, yes! It's a serious pick. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Both of these are uh, pretty low tier characters, but they have they have good edge guard hey, options. That's offensive to low tier characters. Hey, I, I'm a Ganondorf main. <laughs> I, I feel like I get to say it, you know what I mean? Oh, you have wow. To say, you have to say tier. Ganondorf, all of his moves, moves just hit like a truck. Yeah. Taking Jigglypuff out pretty early in the game. Yeah, that's the that's matchup. Yeah. And then, Garen, oh. and then Puffs gets jailbroken, yeah. and like everyone dies, dies but you know, she, she dies too. Right. That's, the, that's the point, it's not, a, it's not much of a point. <laughs> right. Oh, there's Tinnik, one. Alright, get paired. Jigglypuff going for a few safe options. Air Dodge we'll Rest! See. Yeah, we'll, we'll oh, see if that was the Air Dodge Rest, it didn't, he didn't do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if Jaren can make something happen here. I'll bear him? Are they both? They both? Uh oh, they're back. Sean was looking for that oh. was terrible. Yeah, no. Oh, that was, no. oh. Oh. That was and risky. The first game's gonna go to Jaren. I think I think Sean was gonna die anyway because he didn't die right. Okay. Did I, he either didn't he die out or he didn't. Oh, he did yeah, die right. Yeah, I think he could have yeah. better. Also, he could have lived with up B. I just think he was going for the side B. I think so. Yes, I believe so. If he had, if he had waited longer on the edge. So let's see if Sean changes characters. Yeah. I think about DI is if if DI if DI in then you survive at the longest for right. DI. But if you DI up and in then you can recover easy, more easily. But you die like five percent earlier. All right. It looks like they are staying. So I think that's a good thing for Ganondorf to do. Yeah, I agree. And they don't like another characters like I. Yeah. And Cloud. This matchup definitely definitely favors Ganondorf if Ganondorf can just you know, so? stay away from the edge. So, you're about to get into it. Uh, looks like they're picking stages. There's a Falcon versus a banana next to us, and the Falcon is losing. It's a tragedy. Alright, let's play some video games. Sounds like a plan. I love you people. That was Michael. And that was Michael, our uh, illustrious TO for the evening. He's doing a great Why's job. Big shout out to Michael. Oh, I don't, I don't have the TO. And uh, my partner is playing some I'm friendlies going. with a nearby guy. I'll be holding it down here. Mr. Jack, you guys are good to go when you're ready. Were they waiting for us? Uh, no. No HD, I might it looks no. like they are getting ready to pick their stage and get it going. Oh, there going. we go. I'm ready to start this Wii U. Because someone turned it off. Alright, let's go. That's starting. All it's starting right. just like this game. They have chosen and the they chose to a terrible. 
Let's see how this goes. That's not. That's not. Sean and Jaren okay. obviously taking this game very uh, seriously. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Jigglypuff gets the percent lead, and really, she could now. Oh, where's this game at? Where's this thing at? Jigglypuff definitely has the tools to camp out a Ganondorf on this stage. All right. Yeah, Ganondorf is racking up the damage. Uh, the stage has a lot of hazards. There you go. Oh, I'm up. Uh, uh, call someone else over here. Alright. <laughs> and we're getting another up B from Ganondorf. Uh, uh, we are holding it down here. Alright, let's see if let's see if Jigglypuff can get anything going. Oh, here come the springs. Those can kill very early on this stage. Oh, he's pushing him back in. Uh, spacing with those back hairs, trying to get an opening. All right. And it seems... Oh! <laughs> uh, stage assist there. All right. That move is so good. Ganondorf's up there. Tony Jack H on the mic is Tony B. Hi, What's going Tony. on? Uh, All right, I do not want to watch a Puff game body on 75M, so... What more is there to say? All right, I uh, gotta go play a match, so I'm gonna see if I can find someone.
Current set is Nor one, and the other guy's name I don't remember. One as well. Game three. Looks like we're going to FD. Nor meaning his classic Shulk. Quite proficient with Shulk actually. I haven't gotten to see a whole lot of Argo's wings yet. Seems he's pretty proficient. In his Tech skill in his space as well, so we'll see how this goes. I have no idea about this matchup. Are using his exemplary spacing. If you got any. Woo! We're making a lot of use of his aerials as Shulk, really not leaving Argo a whole lot of options here. Uh, 
back. Now this is a rough spot for Argo to be in. Baiting out the counter. Excellent back air from Nord to take the stock. Putting him in a very good position to take this back to the the Buster Minato to rack up some high damage. Mongo really not able to get in a whole lot here, not being able to outspace him, but that Nair will take a little bit for him. Down tilt to up air, not going to take that stock after Norris, which is to shield Monado. Check roll in there to save him there. One of the better strategies to avoid Shulk whenever he's at high percent like that is just to bait out and wait to shield Monado. Ow! Argo didn't seem to be doing it. Now he's going to jump out of a kill there. We go. That dash attack will push that out more. And Link's dash attack is going to hold down the dash attack in the game. With the punish there. Oh, Raw will be out of shield. The kill option for Shulk is very risky for the neutral. And that up smash will take it for Noir. What? Oh. All right. Yeah, you guys can start for sure. Everything's recording. Slight technical difficulties, but now we're back on track. Here we got, um, let me think. That is Lauren. Lauren. Saldivar or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. Anyway, Lauren up against Raymond. Raymond pulling out his trusty, dusty Peach. Now, Raymond's a real... He's a real tricky fellow. Every time you think you got him, every time you think you can punish him, it, it was just a trap. He was there waiting for you. He knew you were going to try to punish that, and he was there to punish you for trying to punish him. He, he's real clever like that, you see? Meanwhile, Lauren... Uh, I don't know. She's not going villager, so I don't know how seriously she's taking this. And uh, looks like Raymond has a big, has a nice strong lead up against Lauren. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, he's getting that rage for us now. Well into kill percent now. Smart is actually pretty light in this game. Smash Tipper in there as well. Not maybe not as bad. Actually, Tipper could totally kill Peach at this percent with that much rage. No bad F smash. That's the thing about Peach that a lot of people need to know. Is that a lot of setups into your regular moves, they just don't work against her because she's so floaty. It's because she's like human shaped and like a lot taller than a lot of the floaties, people think, oh, I can just do my normal combos against her. But no, she can just hold the eye away and live. Yeah, damn, that didn't even have rage on it. I probably shouldn't say those words. And it was in the middle of the stage too. You know, that just goes to show you that Marth is one of the easiest characters to play in this game. People are saying like, oh, you gotta space him out. But no, you, you can just throw out forward smash randomly and get a tipper. That's how MK Leo does it. That's how it's been in melee for all in this game. No chances at all. Nothing at all. And in a world where everything keeps changing, you know, like that's something that even though it is bullcrap, it's something to be grateful for. The fact that they kept Marth the same. If you're a Marth main, maybe. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Raymond does a good job of closing out that stock. Not letting, not letting Lauren get any kind of rage tipper shenanigans against them. So, uh, Lauren really loves Smashville, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna go to Smashville. No, he must have gotten banned or something. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm talking, and, and I sometimes forget that the the people playing the game can hear me. I don't know how long I should be talking, although I definitely want to be able to like hear the mic and not like all the ambience and stuff. Right. Yeah, the thing with Bill here is that she he doesn't really have that many. Uh, it's kind of hard to get a grab to like start combos, so you gotta. I secondary villager, so. I have a general good idea of what I'm talking about. How do you feel about the Peach Villager matchup? I don't know. I don't play it that much. Huh. You usually go Ness? Yes, I play uh, Ness most of the time. Well, I haven't really felt the need to play a vill Villager yet. Just by looking at what, what I think the matchup would look like, is I think both characters don't really get much off of any hit. It's just a lot of trading in the neutral over and over again. It depends on how dominant each person is in the neutral. But Raymond's really good at getting those punishes and leaving those baits. Lauren is really good about feeding into the chaos. But you don't really want to like get in. You want to like stay away and spam Lloyd rockets until. Oh, that was good. Well, Lauren's not exactly one of the campiest villagers. She's like, like, like I was saying, she feeds into the chaos and like rides that. It depends yeah. on. But Raymond is very good at just keeping things orderly and clean, not letting any get anybody run away with the stock. That's what makes him one of our best players here. He was just shy of getting top eight last year. Last top top eight at uh here at Seastad. Oh yeah, I got hit. See when you when you get hit with the uh, while you're charging a smash deck, take like twenty percent more knockbacks. So Yep. That's probably why it killed her. Well, for, he just forward smash forward air, sorry. It's strong enough to be a forward smash though. Uh, it's actually very strong. I know. So, I honestly, I don't even think that was the actual knockback. He's just crazy, man. <laughs> Lauren trying to go for something cheeky there. <laughs> Because <laughs> uh, her, her tag is cheeky. Not right now. Like, her tag is die right now. But, like, she's the tag I cheeky. Got it. Yeah. I, I got it. Anyway. Like, like in my uh, favorite classic uh, literary piece of art, Aqua King Hunger Force. I got the joke, but I don't think it's funny. <laughs> uh, Anyway, back to the match. Um, Raymond's doing a really great job. Looks like uh, I think Villager has infinite recovery. Not infinite anymore. It got nerfed. Maybe a little bit, but not enough to really matter that much. At least it's not bad. Hey. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 that works on Smashville, not on Battlefield. The the Sacrifice thing she was trying to do. I'm commentating! Okay, looks like I gotta go up against Cholin now. Okay. Sorry. Oh! oh. Like, uh, the match is over. Anyway, oh, we're commentating. Thank you. Oh, hey. Nevin rocking the MS, playing Ness and Bayonetta. Alright. Not quite sure about this matchup, but I guess I will learn along with all of you. Let's see where we go first. It's like FD and Smashville are both banned. And we're going to Battlefield. Alright, so we're starting off in Battlefield. Bayonetta versus Ness. And... So Bayonetta throwing some bullets around. Alex throwing some bullets around, kind of keeping Ness at bay. Uh, forcing Ness to approach, which can be pretty dangerous for him. Oh, okay, we got PK Thunder coming out. It's kind of a pretty even set, but, you know... Um, Evan is ahead right now. So we're gonna see if uh Dallas is deciding to use bullets or not. Why hello there. I'm Matt. Uh, uh, you're uh, Matt? uh nothing much I'm Matt. I'm Peter. Uh hi, nice to meet you, Peter. I think we commentated earlier last week. Last week? I think oh well, maybe not together, but I think I think we commentated and then I immediately left because I had to get in bracket. Well I commentated a little. Okay. Yeah, so this is uh, this is uh, Alex and Evan. Alex is playing Bayonetta, and oh, Evan's yeah. playing Ness. I fight, I fight the winner of this. Okay. Oh, awesome. So I guess I guess you're gonna get some scouting done. Yeah. All right. So 
So, uh, Alex oh, okay, the stocks are gone. All right. So Alex has a new bail. I'm kind of worried about uh, yeah. him. Maybe it's going to be actually good. Yeah, but I don't know. Right now he's playing pretty defensively, kind of forcing Ness to approach using the bullet arts. Yeah. But right now we got some, some Bayo stuff. He does that Bayo stuff. Yeah. He also counter picks Um. Oh, he's, well, he's, this, is only, this is only game one, so we haven't, we haven't got any counter picks here. We're, he's starting off with the battlefield, but um, I mean, I'm sure you can see that. But, um, right now, yeah. Ness is kind of getting bullied a little bit. Um, oh, shit. Yeah. This, be, this is a really dangerous spot for Ness because uh, Bayonetta can just kind of go out there and just hold A. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if Evan has, has the neutral for Bayo. Oh, he does? You have to, you have to have, I don't know if he does. You have to have a really certain neutral. You have to okay. play very defensively. Not defensively, but. You have to play a certain way. It's really, really obnoxious. Okay. That's why people didn't like Bayo, but. Okay. I think it's because you have to just play very, like, in your face, like, obnoxious. Just like, hey, look at my character. The PSG is not not very punishable. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It does a ton of power. That's not the way you want to go. Yeah. All right. That's not how you recover. Yeah. How are gonna how are I, gonna think, I, think he I think he just didn't know he lost the double jump. And then he just, he just wasn't able to recover after that. Yeah. I think I, he expected I, the double jump to come out. I think he could have I think he could have recovered with Pecan Thunder, though. Yeah, I think if he upbeat earlier. But usually, yeah, usually a good tip if you have a character with a double jump like that is just to try and avoid using it. And yeah. just try up being as much as possible. Um, yeah. Cause I, cause I know that like with Fox, you want to avoid using your double jump, like when you're off stage. Cause when you get bullied a lot off stage, you can, you still have that double jump if you really need it. It's not gonna against Charizard. <laughs> I mean, your multi jump character as well. But I mean, counting your jumps is the worst. Cause I, I play I mean, multi jump character as well. Cause like, I, like I'll forget to count my jumps, and then I'm just like randomly like, I like my first tournament I ended up losing because I SD and lost count of jumps. And which, is the, which is the saddest story. Oh, we got a wish time. I'll see what Is he gonna get a here. kill? Is he? That's the real that. question. Oh, so I think he DI'd down for that. Dude. Um, I, can't, I can't tell though. Yeah, down. Yeah, down in a way. Yeah. It's good for a lot of stuff. F you want to DI, you want to DI in for early after berry kick, I think. Well, I think you want to DI in for some part of after berry kick. I don't know. Yeah. Right, yeah. That way for all of it. Yeah. The only character I've really That's ever played. Oh, oh, he tried to get the style there. Oh, that would have been so. That would have been that so, so good. spicy. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, and that dare. And the weird dare happens. Yeah, you got the heels. You got the, the stomp DLC coming dare. out. The DLC She's saying, kill move. She's saying, "Hey, man, don't touch his boots." Uh oh, got the silly recovery. She's coming through, and uh, let's we'll see what Ness can do here to come back. Oh, that up there. That's a really hit. strong effort. Oh. Ooh. And now her. That's a, that's a really dangerous double jump there. Oh, there oh go. That, yeah, and back throw. <laughs> Why would you strong counter in front of the Ness? He's not gonna. He's not gonna attack you. He's gonna grab you. He might taunt him. <laughs> um, okay. yeah, oh, oh, you might need the second hit. Yeah, that, that was a better option there by Bayo than to do the second hit of it, because that wouldn't hit. Um, let's see if Ness can get some damage on the board, though. Sitting at 68%. Okay, PK Fire. Oh, okay, why'd you do that again? Three times? I would say the tip there is if you hit one, just try and run up and grab, because you're not yeah. going to get a second one unless it's DDD. I think that was a and good idea. Yeah, I think he had a good he had a good thought there, but like it's just... Yeah, PK Fire is already pretty dangerous when you're just standing there right in front of a combo character. I think Evan uses PK Fire a lot. Maybe he relies on it? Um, maybe, but I think that... Oh, well, he has been using it an awful lot. Let's see if he can kind of switch it up a little bit. Um, because his, his grab game is pretty dangerous. Oh, uh, oh, okay. So oh, he, has, still. he has been using it a lot, so he could be using that to his advantage right there. Just kind of go yeah. in. So he's not going to get punished too hard if he does get wish time. Right, Bear is supposed oh, to be kind okay. of killing. Yeah, so the thing about Ness's double jump there is he could... If he... Magnet hands onto the ledge, Bayo can't do anything with Dare because she can only hit if he's poking above the stage. Yeah. But I do like that he was kind of sharking with the up air to make sure that he wasn't yeah. hit by anything. Yeah. It is really dangerous there because a lot of messes are very susceptible. Oh, and there you go. This Bayo uh, has the F set. smashes. That's the set right there. So good stuff to the Bayo player. Yeah. And I hope, hope we all learn something. <laughs> yeah. All right, good stuff. So you're going to be playing the winner of that? So uh, yeah. good luck to you. Um, I hope you figured out some counterplay strategies and stuff. All right. I hope oh, Charizard works. Yeah, I think I think your Charizard will work because you can space out with uh, Bear, like especially the, the Rock Smash. And I remember one time I was playing on DS, I had this Lucario, and I was like, I had the Rock, and it was out of the Super Armor frames, and he hit me, and I dropped the Rock, and I was like, No, my that's, Rock! Yeah. How dare you? That's lame. It doesn't <laughs> have Super Armor during the attack things. Yeah, it's just I just like, No, you will not, you will not like interrupt my Rock. Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay. So we got the cannon matchup here. Ganon versus Link. You know these guys' names? Oh man. Yeah, this is Zane. He's he's Zane? he's he likes coming casually, and so he plays and so he plays like Armor and Luigi and Ganondorf and I think. 
So he likes. He likes. He's, a, pe guy, he's a people's man. He, he's kinda. for the people. He, 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 he likes playing patrol matches and and it, it, it annoys everyone, but we do it anyway. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is, oh, it is like, okay. This looks this this pretty good. I would. I would have. I personally would have gone with the up tilt there. Yeah. It's a little bit safer of an option, but I, I think, think I because think he's heavy, maybe I'm trying to read his DI or something like that. I think this thing was very underseated. They made a really good player recently. Hmm? I think this thing was very underseated because they made a good player. Like yeah. he beat Ryan S. Yeah, it's I amazing. think I think Link is a little bit of an underrated character. I mean, yeah. you do have people like outstanding people like T like placing really high in Civil War, but like then you have like the other Links that are just trying to carry the. Co oh, man, yeah. that was that just scared me. Um, I mean, like getting bomb combos and like doing like having that fair on deck. Um, That's true. Like the the like da oh stage spike. That was an wow. awesome stage spike. Like the the dare you can auto cancel it by bouncing off on shield. All right, kind of spacing out. Ooh, that was that was a good move by. Oh yeah, good stuff. All right, good luck to you. All right, um, all right. So that was really good spacing by Link. This this looks kind of playing kind of nice right now. Oh, she tried to tried to get him with the with the comeback. Tried to get him with the comeback on the uh, on the win box there. Oh, okay. Again, striking back with a down B and trying to use the pinwheel to knock him off. That is a good option, but Link is kind of spacing Ganon out right now. Trying to do a run back at the last stock. That could be very dangerous for Ganon here as his recovery is quite susceptible to gimping. With an item based character like Link, he has, he has no no lack of options there. And that was a that was a very smart up B, because even if he wouldn't have hit that, he would have had the bomb to back it up. So we have game one going to Link. I kind of kind of blank that. I think it's Brad. Yeah. Game one going to Brad here. Let's see if he mixes it up with the character select. Character reselection. Because um, that is that is a kind of link heavy matchup. Gangor can't has a really hard time getting in there with the items, so I don't I don't know how he's gonna play around this, but but I mean it would be impressive if he if he does. I mean I I mean I'm not really one to talk about bad matchups. I do play DDD, so like you know, playing around bad matchups is really fun. If you know how to do it, but it's that's key word. If you know how to do it, okay. So you have to switch to Olimar here. I think that's a pretty smart decision. I think that's that's quite a better matchup than Ganondorf. <laughs> so we're taking it to Battlefield. See how he uses his Pikmin here. Maybe get some Pikmin combos. Okay, so immediately playing the items game. Too very defensive. Playing very defensively right now. Wow, man, that <laughs> shield's looking like Skittles. Knocking off the Pikmin. A lot of the, a lot of the, a lot of the appeal to Pikmin is the the mind games you're playing while you're trying to get him off. All just setting up, doing some other crazy stuff. I think it's going a lot more evenly than it did in the last game. But we are seeing the kind of tricky recovery here from Brad, the unfortunate SD. Let's we'll see if he can bring it back, but he's, he's already quite a bit of the lead. We might be seeing a game three here. But let's just have, let's just see how this plays out. Nair is a really good sex kick. He's a down throw fair. It's a standard combo right there. Fair is a really good move. Ooh. I don't know if he's really playing an the F smash, but I like the idea. Ooh, okay, another F smash. Trying to oh, and he's just evened it up. Got a 51% deficit, but let's see if he can bring it back. It's all good. Olimar with the dash tag kind of, kind of like wailing on the shield. Not doing a ton of damage though. Ooh, the F smash missing because he is using the purple Pikmin. A lot to do with the throw trajectories here. Most people would like opt to throw with another with a with a different Pikmin and then hit with the uh, the purple one because it does hit like a truck. A lot of damage on Link here. Let's see what Olimar can do. Realizing he has no Pikmin. And he's, he's rolling back, fading back, kind of in a safe way. Ooh. White Pikmin on Link. Victoria's getting that big damage. All that poison damage. All right. Link kind of trying to find an opening here, but it's really, it really is quite difficult. Okay, he, he does find one and grab. And oh, oh, 
That, that was almost an SD. That was really scary. Oh, nice F smash coming in. The 69% from Olimar. And we are going to a game three. That was good stuff. He was really using his Olimar well to space out Link, and he was having a hard time finding openings. And and the very unfortunate SD for the Link, but fortunate for the Olimar. He was able to keep it together, despite that kind of weird F smash. He was able to take it to game three. So let's see what they do with this. I would think no character switches here, because he's Link's playing all right. Um, I think it's just more trying to find an opening than than needing a different character because this Link's really this Link looks pretty good. Um, he just needs to kind of like work around the Pikmin, not be so focused on getting them off. Because um, when you're when you're focused on just hitting the Pikmin off, that may be like like four or five extra percent, or and but at the cost of like letting Olimar just totally set up on you because you're just so focused on hyper focused on the Pikmin, and then it just allows Olimar to run in and just do whatever. So we'll see if he can we'll see if he can figure it out with this game. Taking to game three on Lilat. This is bound to be a fun game. Gotta love Lilat. That's a quick 32% from Olimar. Very good at getting damage off here. I think this was an awesome character switch, by the way. Switching from Ganon, because Ganondorf just really has a hard time getting in. He does have the white and purple Pikmin on deck, and there goes the white Pikmin with that notoriously low stamina. Um, Link is getting a bit more damage off here, but he is still a little bit. Oh, oh, shoot! That was so close to Lilat memes there. Oh man, that was a, that was such a good spike by. Uh, the tag, sorry, I forgot the name, just going by gamer tags. Um, that was such a good spike, like just understanding where the trajectory of that ledge grab was and just punishing him for it. Like kind of showing him, hey, you can't grab the ledge this way all the time. And I here's why. Dunk. So we'll see if we can come back from this. Because um, he was playing really well game one, but it seems like it's all about coming back to Um let's see if we can take this to last stock and see if we can get ourselves a really exciting game here. Oh, he's throwing up that sword. That's a dangerous, that's a dangerous weapon right there. Let's hope, let's hope that he can kind of come back from that spike. Just not let him fade him too much, because you know, there's only so much you can do against stuff like that. You just gotta, you just gotta carry him. We are kind of seeing a lot of, a lot of projectiles being thrown in neutral, as is with the Pikmin and Link matchup. You know, it's kind of to be expected, but you see Olimar kind of winning these battles here, because he is playing around the bombs really well. Ooh, like the down smash coming in from Link. A little bit more of a deficit from the last game, but it is per it is definitely a winnable it is definitely a winnable gap here. Um, as long as he plays really careful and just like doesn't care about what kind of pick they're on. Just kind of working on all of our I mean he does have to note the Pikmin standing there as because right as I of course right as I say that the Pikmin blocks his uh, side beat. But you know there's only so much you can do against that kind of stuff. Um, though we might we might see a lot more bombs here because Pikmin do block the boom. Oh, and that's unfortunate. But good stuff for the Almar player taking it two taking it two one. Pretty close set, but as soon as he picked Almar, um, Link just had a hard time getting in. Some dunks, some SDs, and let's just hope it goes better for him in the next game. Um, best of luck to both of these guys. Awesome game. Partner playing against Gavin, right? Oh, uh, what's yeah. this guy? I forgot his <laughs> forgot my doubles partner's name. <laughs> I can't, well, because I originally when I originally came here, I talked to Gavin about being in tournaments, and he's the guy who kind of first introduced me. And so he's like pretty much like one of those juice smashers who I have his number. And I'm stuff, pretty sure so. his name is Luke. Luke. All right. Um. Huh? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. I, I need I need your name again. I'm sorry. Luke. Okay, it you is were Luke. right. You were yeah. right. I was right. See, I want him to play. I want him to be a Lucas player. See, a Luke the Lucas. Don't go to Smashville. Go to Startsville, my dude. No. Go to Startsville. Smashville. It's Startsville. You ban Lilat. That's what you do. You ban Gower Plain. <laughs> Nobody's gonna pick Lilat to begin with. You don't ban Lilat. No, I That's only ban Lilat for the meme. 
Well, I mean, for me, I like playing on Smashville. So it's like, I would I would pick Smashville. Well, for me, my win rate is actually the lowest on Smashville. Okay. Maybe it's because I always ban them. For me, I just pick whatever stage, because I play DDD, so it like, doesn't even matter. Like... He's got he's got good Gordo pressure. See, see, that's like the first level. But then then you realize that oh, on certain stages I start getting I have a better win rate against this character. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta think about like yeah. stage picks and stuff. For me, for me, like I like this my box player right here. He was thinking, you know. Yeah. He, he was banning the right stuff, making sure that he got the battle. Pick, one of his best stages. Yeah, he was he was doing really good. I I um, played him in bracket, he knocked me out of losers, and Luke did knock me out of losers. So. Um, and he was doing he was, his best on battle. It was, he was actually doing his best on Town City. Oh, when he beat another great stage for yeah, Fox. Yeah, it is a really good stage for Fox. But we were, it was some really close games. There's some really weird Gordo stuff where he'd get hit by the Gordo while doing a side beat, but it would still hit me with the Gordo. So it'd be like a, it'd be like a, like a DBZ, like a, a slow mo DBZ, where it'd just both be flying off in the distance. But, but uh, back to the set. Back uh, to the set. <laughs> Yeah, I've been doing a pretty good job securing a slight, early, slight and early lead. He's throwing out really well placed hitboxes. It's kind of making it harder for Fox to approach here. Um, kind of, ooh, Fox being a really light character. Getting, getting, yep. that, getting that forehead. Yep. Ooh. That, that forehead looking like Captain Falcon's legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's turn turning into five head. That hitbox is ridiculous. They, well, I mean, well, I mean, I mean, look at his head in comparison to the rest of his body. That that boy's got to be packing some IQ. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Like, he does I mean, have like power. His his head is like as big as his torso. I mean, like, come on. There's like, there's only so much you can expect. This like, man's Einstein. He's fifty percent head. Oh, okay. Oh, so we got some. Oh, that was that was really dangerous. Oh, missing he the sweet spot. That Swiss oh. spot. I have seen Ness's hit PK fire off stage and combo that into a jump. <laughs> oh, oh, the raw <laughs> run up turn. smash. That was that was man. That was that was a Gordon Ramsay raw. That was just, that was like Gordon like he's so raw I can still see it eating eating grass or something like that. <laughs> like I can still it's still chewing on his cud. Yeah, like. Oh, that was so raw. Oh, the yo-yo is coming out. Oh, uh, oh, wait. Ness, the eye. Good the so eye. Many with how Good the eye. Oh, nice reflector. Oh. So now here's <laughs> the thing about using uh, your recovery. Nice reflector. Here's the thing about using your reflector to stop that side beat is that N Ness can just move the tail around you, and you yeah. can't reflect the tail. Yeah. So See, that's it, the thing. it just it's, becomes a really bad I option. I think for me, it's not it's not worth it. It's it's worth it as a as a momentum stopper, like. To mo like stop your momentum so you have an easier time like clipping with the side B onto the ledge, but using it to reflect the the up B when he's that far away, it's yeah. like it's not really worth it. And not only that, okay, but so we, I, I've given Gavin a lot of fox practice, so yeah. he knows how to cover fox. Yeah, recovery. he's yeah. For me, I well, to, if it helps any, I gave Luke DDD practice. <laughs> 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 so we actually played some pretty close sets. That was fun. Um, so we got to switch to Diddy Kong here. Oh, 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 Please, no. no. Oh, that's not what you want to see. That's the, that Eminem mom spaghetti has straight up just came out of the jetpack. Diddy that, Kong tried to recover and spaghetti came out of the jetpack and he, he wasn't able to make it. That was just sad. That was... His arms are sweaty. Knees he's weak. weak. Pumps. Spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Vomit on a sweater spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. But let's see if he can come back. Well, hopefully he's not too shook about that, and we can see a game three here. Because I really do want to see it. Like, game three is always whatever. Oh, no. Going Please all don't. The, all the marbles right I there. Will, I really wouldn't be playing this risky, especially since you SD'd your first dog. Like, no, that means you got to go even more risky. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, if you're gonna if you're going to SD your first dog, you might as well go all the way on the biscuit risking. Like, like, you might as well go for the style all the way. But, like... If I was in this situation, I'd be playing really careful, trying to get my damage where I can get it. But I mean, at the same time, it's a free tournament, man. It it is. It is. You gotta have the fun. I mean, yeah, yeah, fun. I mean, what, what am I talking? Oh, got the face grabber. <laughs> the face kind of, hugger. Kind of, oh yeah, the face hugger. Let's so. see if we can get the alien to come out. Let's see if we can get the chest burster. <laughs> All right. Oh, the banana. Oh, nice. That was, a, that was a really long. That was a really long trip animation. No, Gavin yeah, just didn't pick an option there. Yeah, I think I think he was just maybe expecting him to like pick an option. Or like Gavin was expecting him to expect that he picked an option. So it was lack of an option. Oh, that up smash. But and the lack of an option picking didn't work in yeah. Gavin's favor. Yeah. Oh, he did the he did the foe thing where he would he does the the up beyond the ledge. Where he'll just he'll hit he'll just make it hit the ground or a character and he'll still snap the ledge. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, that, that's really that's really surprisingly good because I always think they're gonna SD and then it's like, oh, no, they hit six. Gavin, Gavin, Gavin won the last version, right? Uh, yes, he did. Okay. Um, but right here, this is, uh, Luke still has a winning chance, but Gavin's doing a great job of not staying on the ground, so he can't get tripped by the yeah, banana peels. He's, he's, he's making it really hard for Rick to land here. Like, ooh, ooh, oh, that was that a good was monkey flip kick. Because he, he kind of, like, kind of predicted that he wouldn't shield. Um, it was, because it is, it is kind of, see, look, he's predicting it again. He, now he's, he's expecting him to shield because the flip kick earlier. So That's, he... He some is, good thought playing, process he's thinking. He's playing the mind games here. I mean, the mind games are really important when you're playing when you're playing with characters that do have like that kind of 50-50 on their moves. Um, it is really good to play mind games. I mean, that's, that's pretty much how I play. Yeah. This like it's the the only reason I would win games because I like mind games and like expecting people to do something. Oh, he just kind of got playing around and that's down. Oh, no fair. I realized he, I just looked down at his percent. And I'm like, yeah, no fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we might have a back. We might see a back throw pretty soon. Um, <laughs> uh, it looks like he's following your advice. Oh, but oh never mind. It doesn't pay off. Hits him up with a five head. <laughs> and then. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I mean, look at that head. I, I, it, uh, it is enormous. It, I mean, and those eyes. Those eyes are soulless. They look like just black beans, dude. They're like. Ness's head game was on point. Yo, he. The thought process the going thought on in that Ness's head was like. Yo, I just gotta use my head. That's it. And Gavin definitely using his head throughout that match. All right, good set to Gavin. Uh, that's the Olimar strat, you know, that, throw Pikmin. That is the Olimar strat. They throw Pikmin, distract him, and then you get the kill. Yeah. So now we have a beautiful match between Chol and the, the, one, the one, the only, the yeah. cancerous, the, the medical student, the the the, the, the Chol and the Bayo, the Rosa, the counter picking after you pick a stage. The Weeb. And the then we have Daniel. The old I man. think and he did he is a graduate. He is on his own now. He, I do know where he lives kinda. He survived for that Harvey. Is. That's true. But he's a good old fashioned clown maid, so we got our good 599. Give me a good peace sign, guys. Yeah, thanks. Sp sponsored by... Yeah, actually. Hi, right, could you pronounce your brand right now? No? Okay, <laughs> fine, fine. Things, things were looking pretty tough, but then he counterpicked Bayo. <laughs> Great. Cholin, definitely not on par with Hurricane Harvey, so I think Daniel H has a pretty good chance of winning. He does, he does. Definitely. All the way, like it's like a 70-30. See, her Hurricane Harvey doesn't know what to do with me because I mean Olimar, so it just kind of it just says, you know what? Let's just not fight. <laughs> yeah, you just, and throw just do our own thing. You you throw Pikmin at Hurricane Harvey and it tries to get it off of him, and you would think that because it's a hurricane, it get it off really easily. But no, those Pikmin have a pretty strong grip. Yeah, they do, they do. So uh, it looks like they're gonna pick a good old-fashioned Delfino, right, guys? No, nope. no, they gave me the metal finger. The the classic brain dead. I don't know what to pick counter pick. So, so it looks like Bayo is gonna try the rush in as quick as she can to uh, limit the cloud from not getting his limit. If you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So have you noticed that if a uh, ooh that was close. But have you noticed if you uh if a cloud recovers with up B and he doesn't have a jump, that if you grab him in the middle of it, then he's just gone. Yeah, you don't. In this game, jumps do not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. probably not necessary. But, but you know, it's still, still cool. nice. It's still nice. He may have his limit, but he just wasted it. Daniel is a big. He fan did not of waste it. He needed to use it there. That's true. But I mean, he is a big fan of getting his limit out as quick as he can to get another one. Um, limit actually does affect a lot of Cloud's aerial auto cancel timing. It does. So it, it, Daniel H must be pretty comfortable using Cloud in this form. Not yeah. his limit form. See, when I use Cloud, I try to keep the limit as long as I can because I feel more comfortable that way. Give but me, give me your gun cocked and loaded. Yeah. But Daniel is quickly getting the damage right back on the Cholin, showing no mercy that he's not out. Lost Daniel both missing smashes. so many opportunities there. Oh, he wastes the limit that time for sure and then gets killed by the down air. It's still, no, still not a one-sided game yet. By no means. No means necessary. This could easily flip around in the Daniels' favor. See, he already got the stock, and he's going to get a full charge limit almost. Exactly. See, there's his limit. 
But now he's going to get that Ooh. nice uh, damage on Cloud. Good option, getting out of that sticky situation. <laughs> but he's taking damage really Ooh. fast. Oh, no. He had his jump, though. Oh, oh and poor Cloud. That's oh. it. But Cholin being nice and not going for the disrespectful footstool like I would have. <laughs> you definitely would have. Yes. Cholin showing a lot of uh, matchup experience in no, that set. That is true. He, definitely, he knew what to do at every turn. Now, I wonder if Daniel's going to pick another character to... No, I think nope. he's going to go Cloud all the way at this set, no matter how bad he is. That's true. He, he really only does play Cloud. Maybe the difference is what he, Daniel needs to do. Instead of picking the Weeboo Cloud, he's picked the Gaming Cloud. The Which one is which? He's the Weeboo Cloud. Oh. You should know. You I don't should know. know. I never played Final Fantasy. Final Fan... Okay. But they don't... You should know what he looks like regularly, though. Yeah, he's got the sword and whatever. Yeah, good description. <laughs> now, anyway, back to the fight. Daniel's got some good early damage lead. Yeah, that is a Cloud and Bayonetta, sir, in the audience. Dude, we're commentating. Get out of here. Nah, nah, nah. <gasps> Cholin always Ooh, ready Cholin for the Cholin getting some good damage really quick. Even things up real fast. Yeah, he did. Daniel, maybe a little anxious. Like, threw that, threw that side B out in a really bad spot. Great. Daniel, oh, that could have oh, connected. No. That could have been death. I'm not too sure, but I know Cloud is hes a tough boy. Oh, and that's death for sh Oh, no. No. <laughs> it was a little closer on the left side, though. Mm. That would have been one dead bail. Ch uh, an up air at this percent might kill. Uh, right? It depends on how high she is. That's true. I mean, like, you know. Oh, that will kill it, too. The typical side B. Yep. That's the, the too the fancy classic, The clean. Nothing fancy. Nothing special. special. We haven't seen anything too fancy yet, have we? Nope. Just by the cool stuff. Typical and bail. Mm-hmm. So anyway, let's talk about good matchups. Good matchups? Well, let me tell you what a good matchup is. Now, see, an Olimar can bring so. M okay. Anyway, back to this. Now, tell me, Zane. What? What? Uh, what is Daniel trying to do? Well, Daniel obviously is trying to get the win, so he's going to try to damage Bayo as safely as he can, so that way he doesn't get gimped. Ah. But Cholin wants to try to get as much damage on him as quickly as possible to get the early kill. I Maybe see. off stage even the gimp. That's what I would see. So about how high does Cholin need uh, Cloud to be? Honestly, if he does it right, probably not that high. Like that could have been it right there. Definitely. So I guess Bayo, Bayo just has an easier time killing this matchup, right? Yes, I would say Bayo has a, a pretty good advantage. So I would say really there cool. are some characters that can deal with Bayo a little better than you would think. Like who? But like Olimar? I do think Olimar has some weird advantage. Not like, I still think it's more in Bayo's favor, but it's not like as one-sided as other matches. And that's the game right there, that witch time. That that's the thing that would, I would say make Olimar worse against Bayo. If that didn't happen as much on Olimar... Witch would, time? Yes, what happens with Olimar with witch time, like let's say I threw a side B Pikmin on Bayonetta. If I get near and he does witch time, it would actually witch time me still. Yeah, can't... Uh, what's his name? Shulk do that to you as well? I think so. Yes, but I mean, like, if he counters it, he could, like, I could be across the stage and shield and it'll be fine. Hmm. So, Cholin doing really well on that set, showing a lot of... Yeah, Cholin showing, lot showing of his dominance over his good friend Daniel. Poor Daniel had to drive all the way out here. That's true. Only to go 0-2 against the Bale. I mean, he offered a money matchup for $20, but no, they didn't even give him the frames to do it. Oh, no. He must be very yes. upset. Yes. Here we have Zane up against Peter. Zane, a good Olimar, and Peter, a good Charizard. Very good Charizard. Very good. He, he's the one who eliminated me in winner, so yeah. Our, our best Charizard here. Best Charizard I've ever seen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, pulling out uh, Ganondorf round one. He did this earlier. Oh, Ganon Dittos. No, no, this isn't a Ganon. <laughs> I don't think Peter's going to let this... I don't think Peter's going to let this slide. No, I think this is a real match. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Peter wants to win. Yeah. It's, all, it's all about like <laughs> keeping things real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> although, although Zane has managed to convince a lot of people <laughs> to do some stupid <laughs> stuff, and they're actually gonna do it again in Ditto. Mm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has to be a button. No, they fist bump. This is not a button check. This is. 
Anyway, oh, hold on. Game one we gotta see what happens. Double Ganon. <laughs> right now? No, it's the best set of all time. <laughs> all right. in my commentator oh, I'll here. see you later. See ya. <laughs> Good luck. Beautiful up air. Zane actually like started to add up air to his repertoire, and uh, with the, in the Ganon Ditto. Not not just the Ganon Ditto either. Like just by using. Ooh. Peter going for some pretty pretty fancy stuff, but it doesn't pay off for him. <laughs> Looks like Peter's dead. Uh, <coughs> actually gonna stay Ganon. I mean, he, he's the kind of guy who wants to win. And he has a pretty good chance of winning too, if you take seriously. Yep, there's the switch. Well, let's switch to the main. Let's hope for a good game. Like we got the counter pick to Town and City. This is actually a great stage for Charizard because his up B manages it can kill small characters like Olimar very early. Let's see how well Peter can handle the Pikmin. What a lot of, a lot of people do is that they try to focus on getting the Pikmin off of them, and that just sets them up, up for grabs. And Zane really good at just annoying, running away, and keeping keeping the pressure up just by throwing the pick Pikmin on you. Commentate with me. Commentate with me. It's a, if it's bad, I'll take it out. I am joined by the one and only Michael. I got Banks. like 10 seconds. I don't really want to commentate. He's not Michael W. Yeah, I don't Or the sadly. other Michael W. He's or Michael the Banks. other Michael W. Yeah, that guy too. I forgot about him. Dude, this feels like a weird matchup, but I feel like it'd be. Uh, Definitely Charlie's favorite, I think. No, I, I don't. Mm. I mean, Actually, yeah, yeah, I forgot about Charizard has some good disjoint range, which beats out the. I feel like with Double Fly, the. the and up the Town and City can kill all yeah. our ridiculously early. But it's, I feel like it's not super Charizard favored. Mm. Especially. I mean, this match is definitely an unexplored matchup. Yeah, see, Charizard, you know, he really relies on getting in, which he's really good at. Peter's really But, good. yeah. Peter's especially good at that. But. Alamaru has a good. It's a good time keeping people out, though. Yeah. But I still feel like so Peter. This is definitely a matchup of uh, you know, ranges and shit. Like, yeah, ranges and get... spacing. How Space. well each individual is good at spacing. Hey, who won? <laughs> John, who won? <laughs> uh, Michael W is toing. So then, I yeah, mean, I Weeks is TOing. I'm toing on the side. That's why. I... So sorry if that hurt your ears. I'll make sure uh, to edit this out for you. Yeah, but. I'm up once again by my commentator. No, you were great! Clean. <gasps> oh, Peter risking it all for that down air. Well, actually, he didn't risk much. That was actually just really smart.
Raven left to Gabriel. Gabriel's actually pretty good. Game three on Battlefield. Ooh, oh, looks like Zane decided to switch to his uh, trusty secondary Luigi. Going for that classic Nair out of a combo. That was actually pretty weird. With most characters, that would actually scoop them up off the ground. But I guess Luigi does have some privilege there. Because he's such a weird character. Really smart by Zane. Covering... It looked like Peter had all of his options covered, and Zane threw out that downbeat. He could have gotten punished really hard for that. He definitely should be careful about doing that again, because if he does that too many times, then Peter's just going to catch on and start punishing him. Looks like I'm rejoined once again. This is game three, after the Ganon Ditto. Oh shoot, there was a Ganon Ditto? I there was the a Ganon Ditto. After the Ganon Ditto, Olimar, I mean, Zane kind of picked Olimar. <laughs> yeah. Things didn't go so well for him, so he okay. decided to pick Luigi instead. Oh, okay, so he's, he's going with the Ouija's. Yep. Oh, oh. That beat is up, the beat. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, those footsies. Just kind of gave him a little twist there. <laughs> Doing the twist. Oh, oh, that fireball. That's a real W right there if he hits that fireball. The, a, oh, oh, slap, slap. Oh, oh that's so dangerous, though. No. Can't play games against that fly. Exactly. Charizard's too fly, my dude. You really can't play games with that super armor, especially when you're in high percentage you are. Did you see that, Aeronage? This, this, oh this man does not care. Oh my gosh! This man does not care. Oh my god. Peter puts the fear in you so so well. Peter's a Charizard, right? Yeah, Peter's a Charizard. Yeah, dude, his Charizard's so good. Oh. Not missing that punish. That was really smart. Okay, yeah, that was good. That was good up smash. I'm trying to optimize that damage there. Oh. See, I would have down tilted there, but I'm not Peter, so I'm not that good at Charizard, so, you know. So, in situations like these, oh, that's Zane good rolls around and up smashes a lot. He does? Oh, he I, does. Hope, I, hope he, I hope he plays neutral a little bit better, because he's rolling around a lot. Like, he that is. fireball was really unsafe there. But it okay. seems to be working out for him. It does seem to be... Oh, yeah, get it. Oh, that dash attack is so risky. Oh, he no, should have predicted that. that he should have been that... Predicted that oh, fireball. my goodness! Oh, my God. The oh, the, knocked oh, 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 the money, the money shot. <laughs> the the hands the deadly you, waiter hands you a dollar bill, hands you hands <laughs> the waiter the tip move. <laughs> Here's a tip. Yeah, dude. Yo, hey, yeah, I paid the bill. Here's a tip. <laughs> yeah, great. Oh, great man. game three by Zane. The Luigi looking just like me right now. Oh my god, that was. <laughs> oh. Man, that set was just that just used up all my energy, man. <laughs> you just hopped on. I did, man. Imagine how I must be feeling. Dude, you must be, like, asleep right now. Dude, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whoa. Yeah, you gotta hear this tech skill. This man's a god. Yeah, if you hold X, Y, or both, you can actually change your ending animation for when you win the okay, game. Okay, well, I don't... Then I don't know what this Luigi is thinking, because I, he should be picking the Bang Bang every single time. He doesn't know. He doesn't know about the tech skill. All right, so we got Cholin and... Cholin up against and Ryan. Young, Luke, young this Lucas. This is Ryan's... Third Bayo in a row. Oh my hand. See the Bayo Slayer? Oh shoot, I got it. Ryan, is this your third Bayo? Ryan, is this your third Bayo? Ryan, is this your third Bayo? Yeah, this is third Bayo in a row. Look Incredible. Like fan. This guy not showing any sign of relenting. Like, Bayo's not dishonest, but Ryan, still top character in the game. Losing round one. But on that grind back, like he is Honestly, peaking, he is clawing, and he is fighting every single Bayo until he can make it all the way to number one. This is the guy who loses round one on purpose just so he has an even harder Jolin? time winning. Ryan, Ryan S. Oh, Ryan S. Ryan S. Oh yeah, that's why I lied. No, he no, it's the Devil's Number. He fought Seed sixty six. Of course, he's gonna lose to that. Yeah, Everyone knows DK is an avid religious man. Yes. And of course, Zane, get on this. Zane, once again, joining me for this wonderful game of Ryan versus Cholin. Yes, as we know earlier, Cholin has a quite a bit of experience with the uh, Cloud matchup. I'm and as you can that see right now, he's already having a nice, good lead. Exactly. So, what do you think about the uh, Rosa Cloud? I think it's pretty Rosa even Cloud? compared to the. Uh, you Honestly, know, the higher tiers? 
as far as far as what I've seen today, I think it's pretty well in Rose's favor. Yeah, I mean it's more in Rose's favor, but I mean it's not like hard. You know what I mean? Because he can easily get rid of the Luma to oh, yeah. uh, put Rosa in a uh, very delicate state. Thinking back now, I, I remember that when Cloud first came out, people were saying he had a favorable matchup against Rosa. Yeah. Thanks to his uh, ability to kill consistently. Yes. So, I mean, let's see if um, Ryan, the DK main, can do better than uh, Daniel H, the Cloud main. We'll see. See, even Ch Trollin saying that he doesn't like the matchup. I think another reason that could be... Oh, that was that oh would have been gosh. nasty. But um, another reason would have been was uh, Rosa's very light, so it's very easy for Cloud to combo her. Ah, yes. And she's also very big compared to like another small character. Like, oh, ooh, damn. But Cloud's recovery is so bad. That's true. <laughs> He's so free off stage. That's true. I would like to. I would laugh though if he does the little, you know, the trick to grab Cloud whenever he's trying to recover. <laughs> I would do that in competitive, but I'm mean. Well, I mean, that's something you can only get once. Because once you do it the first time, the clouds are going to wise up. Yeah. Pretty bad up be there. That's true. Luckily, Sheldon couldn't get much off of this. Yeah, I mean, it's still anyone's game right now at this point because he just got his limit back. Though but Sheldon he has a 50%. That is a, he, I mean, 67, well, 60% lead. That is true, but I mean, it is Cloud we're talking about here. You know what? You're right. I, I mean, about unless that. he can. Oh, he did get rid of the limit now. But so he also got rid of Luma. It's true, but one one good gimp and it's over for uh, Cloud right now. And Ooh, but the platform's coming to help him. But on but that side, Cholin has he's got his so much Luma. stage control right it's here. It's true, and he has his Luma back right now too. And I don't I think he's. And I think he's pretty determined to keep that thing on his side. Somebody playing some racing game right behind us, very, very loud. Look, hopefully, he doesn't get on the mics. Yes. Ryan I, trying to be pretty slippery here, but Ryan, Tony's not committing to anything. No, he's not. He doesn't have to. He has 100% lead. I 60, mean, 50% lead. I mean, it could end very quickly now. He's at 69, which is the magic number. We all know this. But for Rosa, that's a very high percent already because she could die pretty easily from a good smash attack. You're right. That's the curse no, of. No, that was so bad. Now, he wasn't even near. Jolin, such great spacing. He's not committing. He's just no. He's just kind of playing with. Really oh, spot. but he immediately kills the Luma as soon as Jolin gets it back. Getting that. I think that's oh, actually. See, now it's an even more delicate situation for Jolin. Because now Rage is becoming. Oh, he missed that. That could have been a. Oh no, the back here. Jolin well, he's got to look out for Rage. Oh, he's got the Luma back and he's back on stage. This could, oh, and there we oh. go. Cholin throwing it all right there. Finally committing to an option. And, and it, it paid very well. Exactly. Uh, Vine's Cloud is. Uh, you may have lost, but it's actually pretty good. Like, it's surprisingly good for our little office. That is true. But definitely true. I will say though, I think his Donkey Kong's a little better in my. It's definitely better. It's going to ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, uh, that, that was our good friend Michael W, the current TO, bless his soul, sweet guy. Ryan definitely. Now that I'm remembering now, the matchup of DK against Rosa is horrible. That's true. So yeah. that's definitely why we're very hard for him. To we're get probably in. not going to see any character switch from Ryan today. That's true. And if Ryan loses this right now, then he's out of the tournament. He's out. This is losers. That's true. Ooh, pardon me. Excuse you. Yes. My commentator has all sorts of uh, body spasms or whatever they're called. Anyway. <laughs> the, the Your Ganon ditto between you and Peter, it was incredible. I mean, I was on the edge of my seat throughout the whole set. I don't know. That sounds a little false. Yeah, I, I, I actually didn't say anything during the whole match. <laughs> wasn't that entertaining? It was. Yeah, there, there it wasn't was, that I much. Didn't know what to say. I mean, there wasn't that much going on compared to like some did like Ganon did. I was like, did you see the uh, thing I did earlier today? No. No. That was pretty net. Oh, was yeah. it that? 
when they they grappled the ledge and then you ran down and down air after yeah. the link grappled. No, not the no 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 no. But ooh, I missed that. He did get the up smash, so it's a very tight game right now. It is anybody set? The Trollin's getting some early damage on, but Cloud does have a limit, and he can easily get that damage back still. But this is game two. This is game two. So Ryan and Ryan's down one, so he needs to focus on this. Getting rid of that Luma would help. And he just did just that. Speak of the devil. This guy over here predicting the future. Ryan wisening up around the ledge. Trying yeah. to keep Tolan stuck over there. You know, if Rose is shielding at the ledge and you just run up and dash tag, she always loses Luma. So That's true. So this is great. It was great by Ryan keeping Rose at the ledge. But uh, Tolan fighting for that stage control. Tolan now a little bit above. Not too much to matter. But... Rosa is quite light compared to Cloud, so any good hit from Cloud, such as a good charge smash or his maybe his side B on the edge of the stage would kill. That would definitely kill. This amount of rage, Rosa's weight. Yeah, exactly. The problem is getting it. Yeah, Cholin's and not committing Cholin to needs to get rid of his. Ooh, there we go. Cholin able to dodge the attack, shield through it. Ooh, that was a bad roll in. Yeah, Cholin he's was ready. Cholin getting some good damage on. He needs to either kill the cloud from damage or try the gimp it really quick. Because he just lost his Luma now, so he's going to try to get his limit back as quick as possible. Cholin pushing his advantage here. I think it'd be smart for Cholin to just kind of play with his food, dude. Very small attacks right now until he got his Luma back, and now he has it back. So there we go. Uh, great, getting the good up roll. smash. Cholin once again showing his dominance against Cloud. That's true. Cholin does not like Cloud. He, <laughs> he had he said that several times throughout the set. Yeah, I think that's all he's gonna be for his doubles games. But we'll find out. I'm not positive. All right, I'll let you go now. I need to go get food. My tummy hurts. Thanks for commentating with me, Zane. It was always great. All right, FD. That's an interesting pick. Yeah, I wonder how the band went. But um, this is definitely one of the more unexplored matchups in this game. Yeah. Gabriel is showing to be a really great player t both today and pretty much every time he mm. shows up. But Cholin has been on a roll recently, like, throughout the losers. Yes, he has. And his matchup is very unknown because there's not too many Wario players out there. Nope. Not uh, too many. A couple in Japan, the one guy from France, no one in the U.S. Yeah. But Gabriel's very good at it. I'll say that. I've seen he him is. play. He's really good. And definitely the lack of matchup knowledge is, has definitely contributed to a lot of his success. Yes, that is very true. Not to say that Gabriel's not a great player. Oh, yeah. I mean, he knows his character through and through. It's just no one else knows his character <laughs> through <Yeah>. and through. <laughs> and that's a good thing. <gasps> oh! <Whoa. laughs> it looked like he was going for something cheeky there. Yep, he was. Oh! And he got the Clean <laughs> punish. <laughs> not messing around. That's that's another thing. Yeah. You know, like you wouldn't see somebody who just picked up Wario yesterday and know that that was a, that was a punish at that time. Yeah, exactly. It's something only an experienced Wario would know. And it's not something that uh, your opponent would see coming either. <laughs> Gabriel doing a great job of weaving in and out. <laughs> he's he's got this lead and he's intent on keeping it. Oh yeah, he. Was this is definitely a weird way for Bayo to combo. Like, is he floaty? Is he heavy? He's both. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> the floatiness Close. is really contributing to how, how long he's surviving. Yeah, but he may be flying too high. <laughs> Doesn't want to get comboed uh, up in the air. Oh, and there's the other smash. Nice punish by Cholin. But he does have a pretty big way to come back, though. Although he is Bayo. If we know anything about Bayo, she can make that comeback. Exactly. <laughs> but that lead is very insurmountable looking. And it, gets, it just keeps growing, too. Well, there's a combo. Oh, no. Oh, nope. Nothing. Good air dodge. Gabriel going for that punish. I think he could have gone for something stronger there. 
Uh, after Bayonetta uses all of her specials in the air. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Nice. What a back air. Chowan getting a little greedy with that mm -hmm. run-up grab. Gabriel, they were to punish. All right, so will Cholin change his character here? What do you think? I it, honestly, I think he was gonna stick with Bayo. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure he's gonna kind of break. Up, up, uh, I called it. Oh, uh, well, I thought he was gonna switch to Rosa. Is, is he you just can never, you can never predict what Cholin's gonna do next? Exactly. Oh, is he gonna go Diddy? Okay, that's a weird pick. Yeah, I haven't seen his Diddy in like. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen. I, his I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen his Diddy. He had a mess. He had a. He has a cloud, sorta. I was kind of expecting Rosa on this one, but me too. <laughs> and he just said it. <laughs> I don't know if that was a misinput, but that was pretty. That was nice. Kind of cute. Two percent. Yeah. Wario is actually very vulnerable on that bike. Like if you if you know how to hit, if you know it's coming then you can space a hitbox out there and knock him off the bike. And it's you actually a very bad too. move. Nice. Maybe that's why. He, maybe that's oh. why he switched to Diddy so that way he has more options to yeah. just keep him in the air. To get his floatiness too. Yep. And Diddy has really good um, air special, like air attacks. He's really. He does. Good. But actually, I think Bayos are even better, just because of the size of the hitboxes. That's Not true. And the oh, the follow-up saying get pressure to get off as Ooh, well. There's a nice, nice up smash. So he's gonna get that banana. No. Oh! Ooh, if you kick, you can't grab yeah. the ledge, and you can't up B back either. Just a miscalculation on Cholin's part. Probably thought, probably thought it was gonna land on stage. Probably. Gabriel. Yeah, that recovery that Wario has is one of the best I've seen in this game. It's beautiful. He's never dead. Yeah. Actually, there is one spot at like a 45 degree angle from the ledge. That's the worst angle for Wario to recover from. Yeah. Because he can't use side V or up. Oh, and he just. Whoa. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. And he just. Showing, showing some great dominance in these past few games. And but just Gabriel coming in and 2 owing this guy. He just couldn't handle the Wario. He just couldn't <laughs> do it. That was great. Great show by Gabriel. Mm -hmm.
My name is Peter. Or he is Joey, and Joey's kind of and Joey's kind of name, but you know he's Joey. And yours, and yours. Uh, is his name? I forget names a lot. But he's cool. He's, he's Wario. Wario, silly. I really, I really like Wario. Oh, nice. Joey doesn't like magic. My arrows. That's something very to do. Oh. See, dash attack is the boss now. There's something that Joey really, really likes to do. He likes to after he throws you up. That's a good arrow. You can shoot an arrow from the He's probably going to be able to up air you. With the ending back. Oh, what? Really? Oh, man. No. Missing your boss. You're seeing is a true combo. Oh, no, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit tough. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why he's missing his toss. I feel like he's down. I don't know what he's going for. I mean, nobody's trying to bite him, but I'm not sure what option he's trying to cover. So I can't tell exactly how he's missing them. Alright, bite that, bite that. Angel. Oh. So it could be an angel. That's not real at all. I don't know why it works sometimes. Any damage block is true with rage. Different amounts of rage. Um, depending. Well, the amount of rage needed depends on the character. Some characters. Sometimes you can do any dare to fall off. I think that's 30. I mean, not, not 30. I don't know how well it's affected, but it's not weight. I can hear. I can hear this though. So. Oh, that's what's saying. That's when it comes to dash attacks. It is terrible. That shot could do a lot of damage that you could like chain them for like 50%. It's actually It's like a tech chase. Tech chase is for a warrior of pants. That works again. There's nothing crazy about it. So it's, it's a warrior who covers the high with, with bike. It's very vehicle when, well, when he... It can't be, it can be very vehicle when he's gonna get off of it. Maybe he doesn't have a I think he should. He's a good pair. I think he should bite him. You can't cancel that. It's it, it very active, I think. Like, it's all movement makes up some stuff. I think that's what R1D1 can do. It's getting so much time. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's his name. Gabriel. Sorry for not remembering his name. I'm apologizing to the people, not to Gabriel. Watch out for to, to Gabriel as well. I apologize, Gabriel. 
Oh, they're playing. Yeah, right. I was slashing. No mind. That. Oh. The pratfall. And then block with the dash attack. What the hell? And then, and then do the infinite. Oh. I don't know if it does the infinite. I think it does. I mean, I wonder if Gabriel knows the infinite. Of course he knows what the infinite is. He, he seems knowledgeable, but there's a difference between knowing knowing what it is and and being able to do it. There's the dash attack. Pit's dash attack is so good. So good. I wish I had I wish I had a dash attack like that and Charizard. It says bits though, and well, at least has a good hardbox positioning. It's kind of disappointing, especially they dash attack. Oh, the bad DI. Ouch. Oh, they think that was bad DI. I didn't see any red lightning. I have to tilt him. Ah, oh, man. Dash hacking is correct. Jerry keeps going very low. I don't know if. I don't know if. Whoops. I don't know if, um. What's his name? It's gonna notice that. Ah. Uh, damn it. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting your name. Oh, that's me. I'm here to play double. Goodbye.
coming out here, one of the rematch on uh, F tier or whatever, picking a new character for the new set. Hey, now we're in losers. If uh, friggin' Peter can friggin' what's it called? Uh, he's already got the bracket reset. If he can get a uh, what is it called? What is it called? Uh, if he can get two wins, that's two. Yeah. Then he can finally take his first C stat smash tournament summer of fall 2017 victory. Hopefully this Freaking, I was here first, Frankie. Alright. Uh, anyway. Beautiful, beautiful edge guarding here by Peter. How are we? What's... Super clean by the box. Not what? over committing like he did just there, All right. actually. Alright, Alan. Um, usually he's not so committal. He usually just stays on the ledge and just like th throws out fire. Alan, I know you're on a roll. Uh, but... I'm on a roll? But... Uh, but... Know, but it's funny that you should mention something about both because Peter has been punishing all of Zane's roles. It has been crazy. I cannot believe it. Look at that right there! I didn't even see that, but I knew that he read a roll. Yeah, it was because he was at 69. This guy, proving me wrong. Anyway. Peter, doing right, an amazing job here uh, of uh, getting hit by Zane and... We're uh, waiting on that because Zane's in grants. You're commentating. Yes, I know, but I had to explain this, something to the TO. Oh, Chill. Take off the commentary mic. You're right. All right. I'm sorry. I completely ruined the commentary, but I'll make up for it by doing better now. Thank you. All right. So anyway, what's the set count? Uh, Peter got the bracket reset. This is a new set. Okay. Uh, Zane was going all Luigi last set. Yeah, he had some success with that back in winners, but Peter definitely showed that he adapted and he knows what to do. Yeah. That was pretty risky. By Peter. Peter's had some good adaptation all day. I think, like he, uh, like in his match against me, like he was uh, really cut on to my habits and uh, conditioned me well. So he's been on a roll today. Meanwhile, Zane has been struggling to find an answer for Peter. Yeah, looks like Peter's riding the momentum from his losers bracket run and is now taking it out on Zane. But Zane's starting to bring it back piece by piece. You know how it is a Pikmin. Just got to build up that damage slowly but surely. The problem is that Zane just keeps on rolling and Peter's finally caught on to it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you get over the fear of having Pikmin thrown at you, you know you can just go right in and uh, do stuff. Peter actually had the read with the up smash, but all of them are so small that he just missed, he just missed them completely. Yep. Small guys. Hard to hit. True. All right, we're back in neutral. We'll read the roll again. Doesn't get anything off of it though. He gets stage control. If Zane can get a little bit more damage on and get some, yeah, like that, he can set up for a kill throw if he has a blue Pikmin. Oh, but this might be it. And that Olimar is it. Almost so light. That was gonna kill 10% ago. Uh huh. And so Peter, really riding this momentum now, up 1-0 in the bracket reset. This is Zane's tournament match. If he loses this. He, he just got 4 0 by Peter. <laughs> Alright. In, in an act of Ooh. desperation, Zane has gotten Ganondorf. But has, he, has he given up? No. Actually, I'm going to say no because he does have a good Ganondorf. He is the best uh, Ganondorf in C stat. You say that, but is it enough? I think, you know what? I think at the very least he can give Peter a run for his money, if not win the whole thing. Maybe even cheese him out. <laughs> well, that's the point. <laughs> That, that is Ganon. You know what? You're right. That That's the entire point of Ganon. Yeah, see? I mean, look. He's already up on damage. And look at that. Like, having a 30% lead as Ganon is like having a 100% lead as any other character. <laughs> look at this. But, there we go. The thing is, like, uh, Ganondorf just has to win neutral a few times and his hits do so much damage that it, it's exemplified a lot more, you know? Absolutely right. And we're seeing that right here. I mean... We got spot dodges for days. Nice side B. Zane, the master of spot dodges. Oh, but the well spaced back here is going to take that stock. Unfortunate. Still, Ganondorf is beefy and he's going to go right through Ooh. the rock smash. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. And Ganondorf's yeah. elbow does not care about your rocks. Oh, but juggles. <laughs> Charizard's wings are swords. Oh, he wants it. Is he? Is he? he oh, oh, he's not going to get it, though. Peter wakes up with a grab. He's going to go for the... He's going to go for the he spike, but he doesn't quite get it. And get is it he going to go for the cheese? Having good magna hands. Is he going for the cheese? Well, that flamethrower is a very effective tool for edge guarding. I wonder how Zane's going to get around that. 
And that down smash is gonna take it. That's what Peter's always going for whenever he chooses to fire at you. Anyway, that was Grand Finals here at CSTAT. Peter getting a 4-0 against Zane, bringing it back from losers. Incredible. Peter showing great adaptation. Honestly, just just a great show. Just a great show. Just a good show overall. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in to C-Stat Smash. Make sure you subscribe it. to C-Stat Smash's YouTube channel so that way you can get more weekly content like this. And if you yourself would like to enter these tournaments, come on down to the Memorial Student Center at Texas A&M University. We're doing these every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Please check the Facebook post to find out which day is Smash for. Make sure to twat us on Twitter, <laughs> add us on Instagram, <laughs> uh, plus us on Google+. Plus. Uh, friend us on Facebook. We had a Facebook page. <laughs> anyway, good night, y'all.